Have you ever been in like one of those stores, whether it's Hobby Lobby or like uh, Target for you fancy people, Target or Walmart or anything, right? And they have, um, you go around the holidays and you go down an aisle and like they'll have like the Halloween stuff on one end, but then they got like the Christmas stuff on the other. It's, it's literally, or somebody messes up and they put it in the exact same aisle. So it's like Halloween, Christmas, and you just, you know, I seriously think that's probably what happened with Tim Burton. He must have been walking, he looked at them and, hmm... You know, probably did some coke as well and just uh, came up with the characters like, hmm, because seriously, who comes up with something like this? Now, with that being said, let's talk Nightmare Before Christmas. Can we talk Nightmare Before Christmas? Let's talk Nightmare Before Christmas. Man, that's a mouthful. So The Nightmare Before Christmas is a 1993 film that is not directed by Tim Burton. A lot of people think he did direct it. He did not. Okay, he, he wrote it and he came up with the characters. It's actually directed by Henry Selick. Yeah, there you go. So Night Before Christmas is a film about a character, Jack Skellington, who grows bored with the same routine. And that's normal, you know, I've seen that. Where you just get bored of the same thing over and over and over. And you want something different, something new. And he ends up wandering late one night in the, in the woods. And he comes across this place with... Uh, you know, tons of different doors. And I know I'm not the only one who thought this, but I would have loved to have seen him go through the other doors. You know, like the Easter egg one or the or the, the turkey one and whatnot. I would have loved the Valentine's Day one. I would have loved to have seen him go to all the different worlds. But he goes through the Christmas one because it captures his attention. It captures his eyes, you know, and falls in love with, with the whole idea of Christmas, even though he is a scary uh, Halloween character. Man, that's some unique storytelling. Isn't it? That's some shit. The pros of this movie. Damn. Literally, I everything, everything. The character design, the music, the casting, the the, the songs. You know, because there is a difference. Okay, music is the instrumental stuff. Songs the one with lyrics. Um, the dude, the villain. The villain's my favorite character, Oogie Boogie. I seem to have a thing for the villain. What's wrong with me? Lock, Shock, Barrow, they're cool characters. The mayor's hilarious. You know what I mean? Like, it's such a good film. It's so quotable. It's so funny. It's so entertaining. It's, it's heartwarming. It's literally everything. It's perfect for adults. It's perfect for kids. It's literally, you know, like, it, it, I have never met anybody who doesn't like this movie. And if you don't like it, you're just lying. You're trying to be trendy. You know, it's, it's a good film. It's enjoyable. It's like, it's amazing. You know, literally. Definitely one of Tim Burton's best uh, stories he's ever come up with. The cons of this movie, none, none. I can't find anything wrong with it. I enjoy and love every single moment of this movie. It is that good. It is enjoyable. So I'm pretty sure you can tell what I'm going to give this movie. But in case you haven't figured that out, what do I give Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> Duh, five out of five. Like, is there a doubt? Is there a question to that? You know what? I'm not even going to sit here and do the usual uh, outro to this video. I'm not even going to ask if, you, if you've seen this movie or not, because I'm pretty sure you've seen it by now, okay? And if you haven't, go. Please go away and go watch it now. Stop watching this face and go watch that, dude. It's an incredible movie. Dude, Danny Elfman, not only does he give amazing music, you know, instrumentals and everything, but he actually sings in this thing. He's Jack Skellington. Incredible. Go watch it now, okay? Go. Go away. Please. Go enjoy it. it, it it's amazing, all right? George Elias here occasional YouTuber and your friend telling you go watch it okay it's a good film great film five out of five I'll see you guys next time right